Hello, Woodruff Road Christian Church and YouTube friends. Chris here in the foyer of the church for another fake plant side chat. Um, I'd love for you to have this with you, our companion reader um, for Holy Week. And because there, there's something here uh, in our Thursday entry that has that's really stuck with me. And, and I want to uh, first give a shout out to Brendan for some really great, profound thoughts that he wrote uh, that have helped me and, and guided me in my thoughts. And I want to bring those ideas into light into our reading, Luke 22. So there's this, this word, this concept that Brendan brings to us this morning. Open hand. As Jesus tells his disciples to go prepare for the Passover meal, um, he tells them the owner of this house will be ready, will have things ready. And Jesus and his disciples go to this upper room, have a Passover cedar. That, and, and imagine the owner, Luke gives us such great detail, he doesn't get anything in return. Maybe they pay him, maybe they tip him, I don't know. But what he does is comes and prepares this perfect setting for Jesus for the Last Supper, and seemingly expects nothing in return. Now, I understand this is the work of a great God, a powerful God who works even in the small things. But that has me connecting to something else here in Luke 22. And I ask the question of us today, are we coming to God? Are we coming out of this season of isolation, or out of this season of confusion or, or anxiety, are we coming out of this season and, and walking into Good Friday tomorrow, into Easter and Resurrection Sunday on Sunday with open hands? See, a closed hand says maybe there's something inside, something concealed. But here, there's nothing. I come only to receive. And what I'm interested in is because the disciples are going to disciple, apostles are going to apostle, Peter's going to Peter, and John is going to do what John does. These guys start bickering. Luke 22, verse 24. Then they began to argue among themselves about who would be the greatest among them. That is the exact opposite of coming into this season, coming into this moment with Christ with an open hand. That is the opposite. That is coming into the season with expectations. What am I going to get from this, Jesus? What's in it for me? Now, that's the paradox, isn't it? Because you know what's in it for us this Holy Week? Everything. We receive everything. Everything. There is... So much that comes to us, so much blessing. How are we walking into Holy Week? How are we walking into Good Friday? Open hands? I hope so.